going on guys? Got another AC down. And this one here, we've got no compressor. You can see the system's equalized. Uh, I checked the cap, it's good. Threw a booster on there just to see if I can get the uh, compressor to fire. Still nothing. And you can hear the way it sounds as well. So, uh, it's another two ton unit. So I'm gonna order just a whole new condenser. Since the condenser is only about $75 more than the actual compressor. So just gonna go ahead and order a new condenser and then we'll be back with a video to swap it out. All right guys, we're gonna recover the unit here. I uh, got the new unit on the way. So we're gonna go ahead and get started on this. So we already got all the lines purged. Got the recovery tank open. Get ready to fire this up. Okay, we got everything recovered. Now I'm gonna go inside, uh, crack open the piston chamber, and we're gonna throw in the new uh, number 57 piston. Got the new unit delivered from Chadwell. There it is. So we go inside, put the new piston in, and then we'll come back out here, and we'll undo all the electrical, and we'll cut our lines and get the new unit sat in here and start hooking it up. So let me go inside and unhook the piston. We'll be right back. Oh, good thing I'm changing the piston. It's clogged up. Curious to see if it's the right one for the two-ton unit. So I'm get it out and we'll find out. All right, guys, we're back outside. Got all the electrical unhooked. Got the lines cut, and I'm getting ready to uh, undo all these brackets here, and then we'll lift this out and get the new unit and set it in place. Okay, we got the old one up. Getting ready to drop the new one in. Had to grab the Supco umbrella. The sun is brutal. Okay, we got the new unit sat in. Got the Schrader valves out. Got some nitrogen flow in here. Getting ready to braze. So we'll go ahead and braze this side up first, and then we'll move the hose over here, then braze this side up. All right, we got everything soldered up. Now we're getting ready to put it in the vacuum. It held uh, 175 pounds of nitrogen while I was at lunch. So we're getting ready to fire up the vacuum pump. We got all the valve cores out, and we have the uh, core depressors out of both hoses. All right, we're coming down. I'm just gonna start cleaning some stuff up while this drops. it in the vacuum for about 25 minutes or so and we've been hanging around 300 it's been bouncing between 390 and 300 and I've been holding the vacuum for about 10 to 15 minutes roughly so I'm gonna release the charge and we'll check our superheat Now we're ready to crack open the liquid line, so we'll do that one first. So I'm going to finish opening that, and then we'll open the suction side. 
and we'll go inside and turn the thermostat on. Okay, we've been running for about 20 minutes or so, and we're gonna go inside and get our wet bulb temperature, outdoor temperature. Let's call that 95. Let's see what we look like here. So we'll go inside, get our wet bulb temp, that way we can get our target superheat, then we'll see what we're actually uh, running at. So let me go inside and get all that, and we'll be right back. Okay, our indoor wet bulb is a 68. So our target superheat is around a 14. And right now we're at 29 and a half, so I'm gonna add a little more juice. that stabilize see where we're at line starting to sweat a little bit it's good So I like to bring that super heat down to about a 15. And we'll call this one good. So we'll let that stabilize and we'll be right back. Okay, here's gonna be our final. About 11 and a half super heat. The target was a 13.9, so we're within three. Sub coins around a seven. Uh, we got a pretty heavy load on the uh, apartment there. It's about 80 degrees in there. So it's going to take a little while for it to come down in temperature. And I do have a 20 degree split from my supply to my return. So give this a little, few hours and they should be good to go. Alright, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.